How's it going, everyone? Welcome to the ASP Weekly Pulse. I'm Pat Parnell, bringing you the ASP's weekly web series that covers the top stories in the surfing world. Our top story this week, 17-year-old Nikki Van Dyke has been crowned the 2012 ASP Women's World Junior Champion, besting South African Bianca Butentag in pristine conditions at Karamas to claim the Oakley ASP World Junior Championships. The young, awesome world champ, Nikki Van Dyke. No, I'm just so happy to be here. Just thanks to everyone who's watching. Van Dyke bested a field of 18 of the best female surfers on the planet, representing France, Hawaii, South Africa, Reunion Island, Venezuela, the United States, Japan, Australia, and Brazil. Congratulations, Nikki, on your awesome achievement. Stop number eight of 10 of the 2012 ASP World Championship Tour, the Rip Curl Pro Portugal, commenced last Saturday at Peniche's infamous sandbar of Super Tubos. While this year hasn't replicated the historic conditions of 2011, the world's best surfers have put on a show nonetheless, with Gabriel Medina, CJ Hobgood, and Michelle Perez all nailing perfect tens on opening day, and ASP world title contenders Joel Parkinson, Kelly Slater, Mick Fanning, and John John Florence all continuing their impressive runs as well. It's been a, been a really close year. Uh, as we get to this tail end, there's really, I think mathematically there might be five or six people in, but I think, you know, in, in all reality, there's only four of us at this point. Be sure to catch all the live action at ASPWorldTour.com. We have breaking news for the ASP Weekly Pulse. We've just been informed that Australian Jack Freestone has claimed his second ASP World Junior title, besting Hawaiian Ezekiel Lau in perfect conditions at Karamas. The Oakley ASP World Junior Championships in Bali had whittled the field down to the eight remaining quarter finalists in Ezekiel Lau. Wade Carmichael, Cooper Chapman, Andrew Doheny, Connor Coffin, Federico Moraes, Ramsey Buckingham, and of course, Lau and Freestone. It's a reminiscence of 2010. It was so good. Um, I, was so stoked. I was so blessed to have it here and also my nan, so it's amazing. Freestone was electric on the final day of competition, posting a near perfect 19.53 out of 20 in his semifinal matchup against Buckingham, and carried his momentum through to a historic win. A huge congratulations to Freestone on a well-deserved title. Well, that's it for another episode of the ASP Weekly Pulse. Good luck to our competitors at all levels of competition. Any questions, comments, or concerns, you can direct those to weeklypulse at ASPWorldTour.com. Thanks again for tuning in, and we'll see you in the water.